Hey everyone, Pete here, and today we are going to see if we can build a budget beast of a gaming PC. Featuring the new, as of June 2023, RTX 4060, and the not-so-new Lenovo ThinkStation P520. For less than $500, let's see if the combination of these two can be the new console killing machine. Let's jump into it. So I bought this thing station for $190 off of eBay, which was a really good deal based on everything it came with. Starting with the CPU, we have an Intel Xeon W2135 6-core 12-thread processor. Taking a look around the board, you can see there are multiple PCIe lanes. Another nice feature are the two 8-pin power cables, with each one actually having a 6 plus 2 pin. The power supply is a whopping 900 watts, so no need to worry about not having enough power for the GPU, especially the RTX 4060 that has low wattage anyway. And look at this, 8 total slots for RAM with support of up to 256 gigabytes, which is just insane. This thing station came with one 16 gigabyte RAM stick, which was interesting. And down the road I'll probably add another 16 gigabyte stick to get to that nice 32 gigabyte cushion for gaming. And under this little flap here are two M.2 NVMe SSD slots. This PC came with a 512 gig SSD and I just ordered another one terabyte SSD to fit into the other one. So next up everybody's favorite part, the graphics card install. Now I had a little trouble with the graphics card install. I wound up taking off the side bracket because it didn't seem like it was fitting properly. And I actually used it a little bit like this for a while. But the sag was real, so I went back and I just checked out the bracket to see if it could fit. And it's really, it's a tight squeeze, there's a tiny little slot between the motherboard and the side of the PC that it could fit. So I just needed to work it a little bit and get the side panels off where the actual ports stick out. And I finally got it in there properly. Now the one thing this PC did not come with was Windows, so I had to install Windows, boot to BIOS, go through that whole spiel. I'll spare you from that. Let's jump into the benchmark, shall we? So let's talk results. 
Based on the benchmarks, it's clear that this CPU-GPU combination can hold its own in 1080p gaming. DLSS does help in frame gen in certain scenarios, but that's one of the perks of having a 40 series card. DLSS and frame gen will not be going away anytime soon. If anything, newer releases will be supporting them more and more. Even older games will be supporting them, whether it's through developer support or mods that have come out in order to enable these features. For the price of at or around an Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5, you really can't beat it. You're easily getting the same quality and performance, a larger library of games, and you get the benefits of having a PC for things like streaming and video editing. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you want to see any more benchmarks in 1440p or anything like that. And if you haven't already, please check out my other video where I try out the RTX 4060 in a Dell Optiplex. Thanks all and have a good one.